is up guys it's logic looks and today boys we got a quick video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to go from no mt to 100 kmt in the fastest way possible so we're gonna get into the video i got a lot of things to share with you guys hopefully this information helps you guys out and helps you go from literally zero mt or low mt to 100 kmt so let's get into the video without further ado let's get into it man so boys like i said i am gonna be showing you literally every step it takes to go from no mt to 100,000 MT. This could literally mean you making a brand new account and starting from zero MT. I'm gonna show you how to get that account from zero MT all the way up to 100,000 MT. Or it's for some of you guys that are trying to snipe expensive, you know, dark matters and all that, and you just don't have 100,000 MT to snipe with. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get to that 100,000 MT mark. I'm gonna show you guys filters, every step you gotta take to literally go from nothing, a brand new from scratch account, all the way up to 100K. So we're gonna get into the video. Before we do, man, over 50% of you guys are still not subscribe to the channel so if you're new and you enjoy the content smack that subscribe button man it is absolutely free and it can be undone in any time and we're gonna get into the video without further ado let's hop right into it let me show you guys how to get your mt up so boys let's just say you guys are starting at exactly zero mt which i know for the for most of you guys the case is not that because some of you guys probably already have a couple thousand mt but if you have no mt the best way to get it is literally just do a few challenges now there's a couple challenges that i would recommend the first one is actually under weekly challenges it is this space jam challenge get this done bro all it takes is you to win a game up to 21 on pro difficulty you can do it with any cards it doesn't matter what cards you have in your collection all you got to do is literally win the game you get 400 mt plus the 200 mt that you're going to get for playing the game so around 600 mt and you actually get an out of this world pack and to be honest if you pull anything from it, even if it's like a ruby or a sapphire, you're going to be able to just quick sell whatever you get in there or sell it on the market for a profit. And you're going to be able to get yourself to at least 2000 MT. Some of you guys might even do this challenge, get the pack and literally make 100K from it because you might pull Invincible Brawn or, you know, Go Brawn, whatever the case is. So go ahead. Step number one to just get some starting off MT. If you don't already have some, go ahead, get this challenge done. You could also play a little bit of TTO offline if you don't have enough from that challenge. So let's just say you have like 1400. The goal is to get to 2000 mt if you don't have you know 2000 yet go ahead and play a few games of tt offline and you should be able to get it and from there we move into the filters and the filters are very very simple so when you have 2000 mt the only filter that you can really sit on is the 500 filter and i highly highly recommend it i'm gonna go ahead and spend like 10 minutes on this filter just to show you guys what pops up on it this is probably one of the best super budget filters in the game because you never know what you're gonna get and it is an easy way to make MT. So let me just get into it. Let me show you guys what you're going to be doing until you get to 10,000 MT. Because the goal from this filter is to make enough to get to 10K. So you already have 2,000. All you got to do is make 8,000 profit. It's easy. It's simple. And it shouldn't take you more than an hour, to be honest. And that's literally the hardest step. The hardest step is getting that first initial 10,000 MT. Once you have that, the rest becomes easy. So let me show you guys what pops up on this filter let me show you guys how this filter works and everything that you know kind of goes up on it let me just show you guys let me spend a little bit of time on it and i'll be back with you guys when we get some snipes so boys nothing popped up on the 500 filter for me but i only spent like five minutes on it i do want to get to the rest of the video for you guys and i want to get this out to you guys asap so you guys could use this on the weekend because the weekend is probably the best time friday is the best time to get your mt up because a lot of people are ripping packs and throwing stuff up for cheap and to be honest you can literally see anything on this 500 filter like you guys know bronzes silvers gold everything will bring a profit at the end of the day worst case scenario you're gonna be able to sell a card for like 850 mt which is still profit and best case scenario you can make 100k off of one snipe on this filter if you get lucky enough to get a dark matter but with that being said, bro, it should only take you about an hour, you know, an hour worth of sniping to get to 10,000 MT at max. It could happen in way less time. It could happen a little bit more time if you're, you know, sitting on it at a bad time. But an hour on average it's is what it should take you to get to 10,000 MT. And once you get to 10,000 MT, it kind of becomes simple because what you got to do from there is literally just go to the dark matter filter. Now, the dark matter filter is very, very simple. All you got to do is go dark matter for your color and find the cheapest dark matter on the market right now. I believe it's actually 8.8K or maybe a little bit less than that. And all you got to do from here on out is literally just sit on the filter until something pops up for cheaper. So right now, 8.4K is the cheapest. I'm just going to go ahead and put it at 8,000 and I'm going to spam the refresh. There is one card you want to stay away from and that is Rudy Fernandez. Anybody else you can pick up for any price that pops pops up on the filter so we're gonna get into it i want to actually show you guys what this filter can produce and how many you know snipes you can get in 30 minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and dedicate 30 minutes real quick to this filter and show you guys 
what you could possibly see in 30 minutes now obviously this is going to change on content days content days are way better for this because you never know what you're going to get on those type of days because people are throwing up snipes like crazy you might see invincible cards go cards for like a thousand five hundred stuff like that so definitely do this on content days but today i'm going to show you guys what will pop up in 30 minutes so let me just get to it and like i said you are going to only need like 10,000 mt to actually get started with this filter it's very simple once you get your first 10k move into this filter and honestly you can literally use this filter until you get to 100k or just under 100k we're going to talk about the next step though after this 30 minutes is up so let me just get to it and find out what we could get in this you know kind of mini snipe challenge boys two minutes in and you guys already see bro there's some crazy snaps that pop up on this filter we didn't miss a dame an invincible dame to be exact 4000 mt which is kind of tough but i'm telling you guys man this filter is 100 percent the way to go if you're actually focused i was kind of on my phone right there but if you're focused and you know you're paying attention and you get most of the snaps that pop up you're gonna be able to make 100k in no time like i said man this is the best budget filter in the game with the 500 filter so honestly Let's just keep going. I want to see what else we can get. That was literally one minute in. I did not expect that at all. And these two right here, I'm going to pass on immediately because I know I can't make a profit on them. The way you want to set it up is kind of if you see a card that's going for like 8K, which is, you know, Rudy Fernandez. Rudy Fernandez is going for like 8K. I would have to get him for like under 7K to even make a profit. So I'm not going to touch him. But let's just keep going and see what else we can see. So boys, another quick snap. We got a Boris D out for 8K. I believe this card's only like 10,000, but still profit is profit and i'm telling you bro if you sit on this filter for long enough the profit will add up even if it's little you know 1000 2000 mt profits those add up over time and will help you get to that 100k range but let's just keep going and see what else we can pick up on this filter boys another quick little snipe popped up a darren williams for 5k now to be honest yes i missed it again but that's not the point i just want to show you guys what actually pops up on these filters so darren williams and damian lillard have been the two we've seen so far obviously we got that as boris Diaw as well so to be honest not so bad in 10 minutes and we're going to continue to go for this last 20 minutes just to see if anything else you know comes out out of the ordinary boys we just missed two symbolars on the same refresh i was definitely way too slow on them i'm not gonna lie when i saw that fan favorites two background i just immediately thought of you know rudy fernandez because i've seen him like a thousand times already but two symbolars we're still not even 30 minutes into the filter so you guys can already see bro this filter is a lot of fun to use because you never know what's gonna pop up and it's actually very good because you're gonna make a lot of profit by just sitting on it so we're gonna continue to go for about like 10 more minutes we got like 11 minutes left exactly on the timer and then um yeah we're gonna just you know wrap it up and go from there and move into the next you know segment and basically the last segment of today's video so boys the 30 minutes is now up we did only get one snipe but we saw a ton of snipes probably a potential profit of like 50k if we ended up getting everything but you got to keep in mind today is not a content day it is not the best time to actually be on the filter so obviously we didn't really get anything too crazy we didn't see anything too crazy if you guys do this filter Friday is definitely hands down the best day to do it because obviously new content comes out, people rip more packs, and people throw up more snipes. So Friday is definitely hands down the best day to do the 500 filter as well as that dark matter filter. And one thing I got to say is you can either go ahead and use that dark matter filter all the way up to 100k. I feel like that's probably the best way to do it. But if you're having trouble getting snipes on this filter because it is kind of competitive and you got to know your way around sniping, if you have trouble... All you got to really do is low key just hard scope cards. So what you want to do is go ahead, go into the packs that are, you know, most recent in the market. So I can literally go to any of these packs. I would, you know, recommend not going to one of the super packs because those make it kind of more difficult. But press triangle, find out what cards are kind of, you know, in the, I guess, packs and find out a card that you could afford. So let's just say you have like 30,000 MT. You're obviously not going to be wanting to snipe Kawhi Leonard. You're going to need 100,000 MT to snipe cards like this, but Find a card that is kind of, you know, cheap, in between cheap and expensive. So, for example, I'm just going to go ahead and use this Danny Ferry, I guess, for an example. All you got to do is go ahead, put their name in, search up Danny Ferry, find out what the cheapest is, and just make sure you could actually afford it because you don't want to, you know, be able to, you don't want to snipe something that you can't even get for a snipe. So, what you want to do, check the cheapest Danny Ferry. Let's just say I had 50 KMT. This would be the perfect option to actually hard scope with if I don't want to be on that regular dark matter filter. All I got to do is find out how much this card costs and i do believe he's actually glitched so i'm not going to be able to find out how much he costs but he's around 25k all you got to do from there is put it like 5k under the cheapest so put it at 20k and just hard scope the card for literally like an hour or maybe two hours and you should be able to be pretty successful in that because i'm telling you right now bro hard scoping is low-key a good way to make mt and you don't need to hard scope the most expensive cards in the game like these invincibles it can literally be anything in the game that has some type of value on the market so i would say anywhere from you know 
if it's anywhere from like 20 to 50k i would recommend hard scoping it if you're not trying to use that regular dark matter filter but again i gotta make sure man you guys understand that the best way to do this is literally to play tto play that challenge game that i told you guys to play in the beginning get the mt from that hop on the 500 filter and then take that mt once you have like 10,000 mt move in to the dark matter the regular dark matter filter i'm telling you bro one of the most underrated filters in the game and a filter that can help you get from you know zero or from you know 10,000 to 100,000 mt very very quickly so go ahead pick whatever path you want to go on whether it's the regular dark matter or you know hard scoping cards it doesn't matter both of them will work and once you get that 100 kmt you're pretty much free to snipe whatever you want in the game and you're pretty much free to make even more mt and get to a million in pretty much no time so boys, I know today's video was kind of basic and I know some of you guys out there probably knew about most of the things in this video, but at the end of the day, man, some of you guys didn't. So hopefully it did help some of you guys out because that's literally the main point of making this video. I want to help you guys out, trying to help you guys get to that first 100 KMT. And to be honest, once you get that first 100 KMT or once you get 100,000 MT, the, you know, the journey to a million becomes way, way easier because after you get the first 100,000 MT, all you really got to do is just, you know, hard scope cards or go on specific dark matter filters and you're going to be able to get some more expensive snipes so definitely work your way up to 100k if you don't have it already if you have 100k and you want to see a video about how to go from 100k to a million mt which is going to be a little bit more advanced let me know down below in the comment section and i could definitely bring that out but today's video was very simple hopefully helpful though if it did help you out leave a like on the video if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button man join the squad and i will catch you guys in tomorrow's video we probably have some sort of snap challenge coming out tomorrow so stay tuned for that you don't want to miss it and i will see you guys then man i love you stay safe stay blessed i'll see you Peace.